Our plugin of the week is the Max Volume plugin by Waves. Um, the Max Volume is um, a, a four stage dynamics processor that actually is very, 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 very cool. It's, it's one of the rare plugins that has a true low level compression. So essentially when you compress or you work with dynamics, there are essentially four stages to dynamics. There is a downward compression, which is signals above threshold get pulled downward. That's the basic concept. And that's what you have with the high level compression. Um, you also have downward expansion, which is sort of like a gate. And the idea of that is signals below threshold get sent farther downward. And this is a way of extracting or getting rid of noise. On the other side of things, though, you also have upward expansion, and it's the true opposite of downward compression. In upward expansion, signals that go above threshold uh, get sent higher above threshold, right? So you're expanding them. So if you think of an inverse ratio, instead of 2 to 1 for every 2 dB above threshold, 1 dB comes out, think of it as an inverse, a 1 to 2 ratio, or a 0.5 to 1 ratio. For every half dB above threshold, 1 dB comes out. And so that allows you to, to expand on transients, or depending upon the way you, you work with it, um, that would be one way of working with it. And there's also upward, um, uh, that's upward expansion. And then you also have low-level compression, which is taking signals below threshold and compressing them and bringing them up in level. And so what happens with the low-level energy and where the low-level compression is so powerful is a lot of the presence and high-frequency energy in the mix is quite often taken in here. So what this processor does is it has a low-level compressor with makeup gain. It has a gate built into it, so you can gate away any noise. It has a leveler, which is really cool, because you can take a track that's uneven in level and basically set it to a fixed overall gain that you want it to run at. So it will generally set the level so that low level stuff comes up higher, high level stuff comes down lower, which is really, really cool. And you have a high level compressor limiter kind of function, which takes signals above threshold and brings them downward. And it primarily functions in two different capacities, in soft and loud. The soft has a slower release, right? So it'll be warmer and the loud has a faster release time, which makes it more aggressive sounding. So the basic idea, if I could play an audio example through here, is that if I work with a leveler, I can set a target volume that I want everything to appear at. So when it goes lower than this, it'll end up at this level, and when it goes higher, the overall gain will get pulled down. So this is more of a volume setting so you can see here as I kind of pull it up but this is more or less just an overall gain kind of thing and so this is one way of taking a track that's un has an uneven gain performances and basically leveling it out without getting into like a whole big thing so the difference between this and the MV2 is that the MV2 just has a low level um, uh, um, compression and high level compression and it doesn't have any of the stuff in between and you also are, don't have the gain control so it's primarily just the simple you have an output gain but you don't have the low level gain control or makeup gain control so that is MV2 is like a stripped down version of this like a real simple version of this it's like let me pull bottom stuff up and top stuff down so it's like a bottom up top down compressor Whereas the MV2 has that, but it also has gates and it's a little bit more sophisticated in its control. So, so here, if I wanted to bring up more presence, then I would go to the low level compression. And I can also have some makeup gain here. How much of that presence energy that I want to bring in. Um, the problem, depending upon the application that you use, and the, the question is, what does this work with an automated master fader? Um, in, is that when you apply this, like I have this applied in the mix bus, what ends up happening is that this will be post fader. 
And so as you fade out, then the max volume will be working less because signals will be pulled down below threshold. So, you know, it's not necessarily a mixed bus compressor per se, although you can use it for that. I have a tendency to like to use it for stem processing. Um, but it's kind of a way of kind of pulling something a little bit more together and making it more present. You can use it on vocals. You could use it on guitars. There's so much instrument, different instrumentation, especially acoustic instrumentation, that works really well. Um, and so here, um, the, um, the low level will add the presence, and the top level will bring down some of the peaks and kind of even out the performance. If you put the leveler in post-master fader, it will only go so far, which I think is, is uh, maybe more the question that's being asked about the, MB, uh, about the max volume here. So when you set this, is it going to you know, negate your master fade? Uh, and the answer is no, because it will, only, it will only go so far. And it's like a general soft kind of thing. So it's not a radical, fast kind of thing along the lines of like vocal rider or bass rider, which is a much more aggressive way. The idea of this is more or less you have a track, you know, it's probably used more in sound design in movies where you have tracks and it's a bunch of different music cues and you want to just level them off kind of softly from section to section very quickly. You can just throw this on and say, this is the basic level I want it to be, and it will more or less keep them in along those lines, but it won't prevent fade outs and stuff like that. So this will kind of do the top down compression and it also has automatic makeup gain built into it. So you, as you bring this up, you're bringing in more gain. And also as you bring this down, you're bringing in more gain. And so you have a makeup gain control here. But you can hear what it does. Right, and so it's a lot of it's very deceptive because it's easy to get caught up in the additional game. You never left a special place. You were there from the start. You were there, you were there, you were there. The sun was shining on, shining out there. Yellow and blue. Right, but you can hear the presence that it brings in. So as long as you don't get too caught up in like not level matching because it doesn't have like an auto ma level matching output um it has some similar but not exact properties to like what an l2 does where you pull down the threshold and you have extra gain but it doesn't sort of cap off that game and prevent clipping so you can still have that within the plugin you can also apply a gate um a, like a soft gate kind of thing that can be used so if the signal falls below a certain threshold you can also get out noise because one of the problems with low level compression is it brings in some noise that you might not expect so um, all of this together uh, in terms of you know working with the plugin depending upon the sound you can also just play with the the, the soft loud settings so this is the slower release So you can hear the more aggressive snapback of the sound that you get with the loud setting. So, uh, and it can work really well for both. Um, very, very cool compressor for pulling a sound together overall, right? You just want to take the low energy stuff, bring it up, the top energy stuff, bring it down, tighten and focus the sound. You could even level it after that so it keeps more consistent in terms of the performance. Just a very, very powerful, incredibly well thought out processor. So when I talk and get into low level compression, you're going to see me pulling this one in the MV2 up a lot because there's not a whole lot of them out there. Uh, that work with signal below threshold and compress it upward. Um, uh, so mostly um, that would be a difficult thing to do otherwise uh, in, in terms of working with just general compressors, and it's not something that you find anywhere in the analog realm. Uh, it's really primarily just a plug-in um, thing because it's just math at that point, and it has an incredible 
uh, um, very powerful uh, plugin in terms of uh, it being useful in mixes, even in mastering, and all, just some very quick ways of just tightening up a mix um, that you're sending off to somebody. You just like, it's kind of like a way of just like, hey, I'm gonna take my mix and I'm just gonna pull it together, focus it. This is like a really cool one to do that, to add the presence and everything you need. So there you have it. There's uh, uh, the Max Volume uh, Compressor um, by Waves. All right, that's our plugin of the week.